Hey, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to look at how to use the present value tables in order for you to save time when you're doing work. Let's take an example. Maybe you're calculating for present value of a lump sum. Present value of a lump sum has a formula. Present value equals to future value into brackets 1 plus i power negative n. Yeah, and we shall yeah, an example may be that given us future value of 100,000, we have an interest rate of 10% and our N is 5 years and they want us to determine the present value of the 100,000 5 years from now. So we are going to use the present value tables. Since it's a lump sum, we shall use a table that has the present value interest factor of a lump sum, which is 1 plus R into brackets power negative N. So our interest was 10% and our N was 5 years. So we shall come to the column of periods. We spot where 5 is. It's there. And then we go to the to the row of the interest rate we get where 10 percent is then you slide down up to where five is and that figure where it matches from it's the present value interest factor that we are looking for which is 0 0.621 from our table the whole of one plus i into brackets power negative n equals to 0 0.621 and our future value was a hundred thousand yeah in order for us to calculate for the present value of a hundred thousand five years from now we shall just multiply a hundred thousand times 0 0.621 and we shall get 62,100 that is the present value of a hundred thousand five years from now now let's look at how to calculate for present value of annuity using the present value tables let's get an example maybe a business is supposed to pay fifty thousand every year for four years as rent at an interest rate of 15 percent per annum yeah the formula for annuity is a into brackets 1 minus into brackets 1 plus i power negative n out of i then we close the brackets yeah and that whole thing in the brackets is what we call present value interest factor therefore we are going to use the present value tables to determine for the present value interest factor then we shall get the table we shall not use the same table like what we used for present value of a lump sum because they differ. Yeah, this is called the cumulative present value and it has the present value interest factor of annuity or need. From our example, our N is 4 years and our interest rate is 15%. Therefore, we shall use those two in order for us to determine the present value interest factor we shall go in the periods column we look for four it's there then we shall go to the row for interest we look for 15 percent it's there then we slide down we get where four is and it's there so our in present value interest factor is 2.855 yeah where they match from it's the figure that we take 2.855 so from the table our present value interest factor is 2.855 and our annuity was 50,000 therefore we shall calculate for present value of annuity yeah 50,000 times 2.8 855 and our answer is 142,750 yep and that's how we use the present value tables to calculate for present value 
of annuity of a lump sum yeah thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe like comment share with your friends yeah bye bye